How does biomechanics apply to be able to swing a baseball bat effectively? How will biomechanics provide the most solid contact between the bat and the ball? We will discuss the important angles, forces, and movements involved in a proper swing. We will also discuss what is the relationship between a good follow-through and a powerful exit velocity from the baseball, all of which comes together to form the final product, a powerful baseball swing. First, let's take a look at the angles, forces, and angular movements applied to a hitter's swing, starting with the stance. As the load phase of the swing begins, the pelvis will shift in the negative direction, putting 90% of the batter's weight on the back leg. During this phase, knee flexion will increase as the batter's weight shifts and as the lead arm extends. The bat angle will also decrease and lastly the batter will apply a force down into the left with the back leg. The force generated by the back leg will cause a momentum shift in the positive direction, allowing the pelvis to move forward and the lower half to begin rotation. Angular velocity will increase in the lower half in the positive direction, and torque is created by the upper half resisting the lower half in the negative direction. The generated torque from the equal opposite relationship between upper and lower allows the bat to accelerate through the zone with great force. Finally, we will look at how torque and follow through generate the greatest impulse between the bat and the ball. At this angle, it will be a lot easier to see the torque generated between the upper and lower half. We will also see a clear bat path and the importance of a good follow through. Once again, you can see the hips fire first and pull the resisting upper half and allowing everything to move with a positive angular velocity. Upper half now fires with a greater angular velo, allowing the barrel of the bat to come through the zone with a great linear velocity and force. The most important part of a batter's swing is the follow through. The longer the batter can keep the bat in the zone, and in contact with the baseball, the greater impulse that will be generated. So what is important to remember? The load is the first phase to generate force with the back leg. The weight is transferred to the front foot and rotation of hips begins to create torque. And finally, stay in the zone as long as possible and follow through with your swing.